Alrighty guys, welcome back to another Singing Fish restoration video. This time I'm going to be showing you guys a repair that I think um, there isn't really a lot of videos on how to do this and it's a problem that I have encountered one too many times. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix this. This is how to repair the crown gear on your Singing Fish. Um, these are very prone to failing, um, especially recently um, in these three motor Singing Fish such as the original Big Mouth Billy Bass. I've got the Christmas one here. Um, other knockoff fish like rock and singing bass, any of the JS and Y fish, um, just anything that has three motors where basically what happens is I'll play it. So watch when the head comes up, there will be in a, there will be a clicking noise. So that clicking, that is the crown gear that is broken. The normal gear is fine. If you move it slow, you can hear a nice, nice healthy gear sound. But the crown gear is missing teeth, and we're going to go ahead and repair that right now. Let's go ahead and get started. As always, we start by removing the screws on the bottom of the plaque. Go ahead and remove the back of the plaque from the rest of the fish. And now we're going to start to get inside by taking apart these six screws first. All right, so once those screws are off, take the, this bracket off. It's a lot easier to take, even if the head gear's not split, in our case it's not. Normally it is, so normally you wanna replace this gear and I have a video on that as well. But in this case it's not. However, I'm still gonna take this motor out because it's easier to slide it off the plaque that way. This gear's still good, so we're not gonna touch it. But now, it is much, much easier to get this thing off. All right, once we are good there, what we do is we go ahead and close the plaque up, flip it over. This one's nice. There's not a lot of, there's barely any melting to the plaque here. Very nice condition unit. All right, now we are inside the fish. So I always find it easier to go like this. What do they do to this? <laughs> Anyways. Okay, there's, there's already a screw off of that. I wonder if this has been taken apart before. Um, so normally there'd be a screw here. You take that off and there's another one right here. What are the odds this has been fixed before? Maybe that's why it fully works besides the, <laughs> besides the crown gear. That would be pretty weird. See, there's a screw missing. Oh, what in the world? Look. Ugh. Really? Either this was tampered with or whoever made this in the factory was not thinking. I think I just ended up with a lemon, you guys. This fish is what you call a lemon. All right, now the tail 
is off. If you want, you can even take it off in out of the inside of it. I'm not gonna do it because I don't have to. Um, I'm just gonna get inside the head now. So basically what you do now is you wanna unbolt the head side. I find, it, I, th I, th I think it's easier to do it from the bottom in this case. So I just pull this up and I go under the foam here and there's one screw and there's two screws. You're gonna take those both out. Now, actually, before you do that, make sure you know where your head spring is in. This one is in the second, looks like, slot. So I'll put it back in the second one when I'm done here. Make sure to do that before so that you remember which slot it goes in. All right, so now that those screws are off, we wanna see here. This slides out like that. Out and up. And the back side. And then let's uh hold on. Let's get that spring out. There we go. So now this side just comes out like so, and we go out. Bingo, there's our mechanism. Take apart the three screws on the back. So, be very gentle or be very careful when you lift this up because if you go really, if you lift this off really fast, all the gears are going to go flying. Slow. And there we go. There's our gearbox. There's barely any grease on those. Definitely want to grease that up. So, this is the gear that we're concerned about. And, yep, sure enough, if you look closely, that tooth is gone. It is gone. And I'll show you how I fix that. Now, I have a very weird way of doing it. So basically, what I do is I actually just completely take this off. And this method I've done for every single fish I've had with this issue, and it does actually work. So now you just have this, right? So now here's what I do. This is 10 teeth. Well, you wouldn't tell now, but it is 10. Billy crown gears are always 10 teeth. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my fresh set of 10 tooth gears this is actually brand new, I just got these. Take one. You are my lucky victim of the day. You know, fit it in. Sometimes I do it, you just need to find like a small hole like this. There we go, I went in. I'll go a little more. I think that's good enough. Um, yeah, that should be fine. But here's the thing. Now, this is gonna spin freely. So we wanna actually, what I do, so this will not work on its own. What you have to do is you actually have to, and I'll show you, I'll zoom in. I actually melt the bottom of this. 
I melt it to the gear so that they stick together. So as ugly as this really looks, it actually does work. And I'm gonna show you that right now. And this is a method, I don't even know, I don't even know of anyone else who does this method. I, I, I imagine people just replace them entirely. This is a method that I just kinda made up. It's the conservative method, I guess. Cause if you fit it in, spin it, it spins. Do you see how it's not all the way down? You want it to at least touch this. That is about perfect. All right, get greased, bro. Probably more than I needed, but hey. So when you put this back together, don't go too tight, because what I've noticed is if you go too tight, then This is very hard to move now. You want it to be a little bit loose. Just because this isn't a ri the original setup. See, now it spins better. You can spin it around freely here. And then we just put the third one in. Crown gears are just, the reason I have to kind of, like, this repair seems kind of low end is just because crown gears are so hard to get. Um, they're hard to 3D print because they have that, that spiral piece, so they're kind of hard to do that. But, uh, I mean, this works, and this has been working for me, so that's what I'm going to go with. So here we go. We're going to put it back now. Let's go ahead and... Uh, this side in, put the spring in, it was on the second one. And get the top one in. And also, this fish is not, even after this, the fish is not done because I have to completely wipe it down. That's obviously more of a cosmetic restoration, but still. tail back in so I'm gonna do that screw correctly now because I don't know who in the right mind thought it was a good idea to do this All right, let's, I'm gonna throw the head motor in, give it a quick test just to make sure that it works. And then we'll put it back on the plaque. Shoot.
no more clicking. As you can see, it worked. And now we're going to reassemble it. Use it to push the fabric in. So billies I've found are the easiest to get the fabric back on the pegs. With other fish, it can be harder to do that. Like the JSNY fish, it's very hard to get those fish back on their pegs. But uh, this one's not that bad. So before we do that, though, let's go ahead and put the head back in. Head motor here. Here is the final result. Very shiny, very great condition, and like new, and working perfectly. Here we go. Check it out. So I'll have to clean them up a little bit more. But yeah, the head sounds great now. Uh, it's not, it's, the batteries are a little low, so it'll come up a little faster on an adapter. And yeah, that's basically the video, guys. I hope you guys this helps you. I hope this helps you guys out on fixing your singing fish. And yeah, more repair videos hopefully to come in the future.